Hi everyone, welcome to Arpita Sharma classes. I am Arpita Sharma, your educator and today we are going to decode this very important article, the editorial from the Hindu newspaper dated July 21st, 2022. So, today, 21 July 2022, this is a very important article that we are going to decode. Which is India-Vietnam ties from stronger to from strong to stronger. Now, you must be knowing that recently India and Vietnam have completed their 50th year of diplomatic relation. That is, they are celebrating their 50th anniversary, right, of the diplomatic relations. And recently, in the month of June, also the fine, the uh, you know foreign ministers of and defense ministers of India and Vietnam they also met together. We have signed defense agreements also with Vietnam, which are going to significantly enhance the scope and scale of existing defense cooperation. So that is why we are going to study India and Vietnam relations because that is really important from the perspective of GS paper to international relations, and also from your prelims perspective, it's going to be really important. So, are you ready? So, please take out your international, you know, relations ka register where you are taking down the notes and please make sure that you take down the important pointers from this lecture today. Let's get started. So, earlier, India and Vietnam, they had signed a letter of intent. So, we have created handmade notes for all of you and we are going to in understand the entire relation through these handmade notes, okay? Okay. And these will help you in updating your own notes as well. Plus, I will be uploading these notes on the Telegram channel. The link of the same is given below in the description box. The name of the Telegram channel is Simplifying UPSC with Ease. As you can see, this is the channel Simplifying UPSC with Ease. You can find this channel through the link which is given below in the description box as well. Let's get started. So, Indian Vietnam recently they signed the letter of intent, LOI, which is the letter of intent. Why? To collaborate in the field of digital media. Digital media ki field may collaborate karne ke liye, dono hi nations ne letter of intent signed kiya hai. Letter of intention that yes, both the nations are, you know, intending to make their partnership more and more stronger in every field, not just the field of defense, but in every field. So, that is the one important first important point that you need to remember. Now, second, we know that in 2022, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between India and Vietnam. So, the second important point over here is that in 2022, that is in this year, in the month of June, India and Vietnam had signed the joint vision statement, which is India-Vietnam Defense Partnership, PS means partnership, towards 2030. So, we have signed a joint vision statement on India and Vietnam. Who is the joint vision statement? India-Vietnam Defense Partnership ke upar hai towards 2030. Okay, why? To bolster the bilateral defense cooperation. Bilateral means two-sided. Okay, so to bolster that means to make stronger the defense relationship between and defense cooperation between India and Vietnam, we have signed this agreement. Alright, now another important point over here is that the two defense ministers, they met during the signing of this joint vision statement and India in this meeting has handed over 12 high-speed boats to Vietnam as well and that is why India has signed Third important point, the Mutual Logistics Support Memorandum of Understanding and you know according to this MOU, Mutual Logistics Support, Logistic means Infrastructural Support, okay. So in this particular MOU, we have given them two simulators and we have provided them monetary grants to set up the Language and Information Technology Lab. So India ne Vietnam ko information, Language or Information Technology Lab set up karne ke liye do simulators provide kiye hai aur kuch monetary grant hum unko de rahe hai. and please remember that this mutual logistic support MOU na it is first such major agreement which Vietnam has signed with any country abhi tak kisi country ke saath aisa major agreement kabhi sign nahi kiya Vietnam ne India pehli country hai jiske saath Vietnam mutual logistic support MOU sign kar raha hai Alright, so these are the second important flowcharts that you have, you know, memorized. Now coming on to the third important flowchart, defense line credit. So the 
two fine you know uh, foreign ministers and the defense ministers they are meeting right uh, you know continuously why because we are celebrating 50th anniversary this year so that is why the two defense ministers who met uh, you know in in this meeting during the signing of the joint vision statement they also agreed on the finalization of 500 million dollar defense line of credit which has been given from india to vietnam ओके इंडिया वियतनाम को 500 मिलियन डॉलर का डिफेंस लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट लोन प्रोवाइड कर रहा है डिफेंस सेक्टर के लिए furthering we are you know uh, we are furthering through this particular agreement the government's vision of make in india and make for the world not just make in india not just we are confined to our country but we are also helping other countries okay तो ये आपकी पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट है जिसको आपको याद रखना है नाउ न्यू दिल्ली हैज आल्सो एक्सपैंडेड मिलिट्री ट्रेनिंग एंड हैज आल्सो यू नो प्रॉमिस्ड टू हेल्प वियतनाम नेवी स्ट्राइक केपेबिलिटी तो यू नो वियतनाम की जो नेवी की स्ट्राइक केपेबिलिटी होती है ना अटैक करने की केपेबिलिटी उस फील्ड में भी इंडिया ने प्रोमिस किया है कि हम आपको हेल्प करेंगे ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड करेंगे सो वी हैव ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव अंडर वाटर कॉम्बैट ऑपरेशन ट्रेनिंग टू द वियतनामीज सेलर्स जितने भी विशाखापट्टनम कोस्ट के एरिया में वियतनामी सेलर हैं उनको हम अंडर वाटर जो आपकी कॉम्बैट ट्रेनिंग होती है वो प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं दिस इज द थर्ड फ्लो चार्ट कमिंग ऑन टू दी फोर्थ इंपॉर्टेंट फ्लो चार्ट इंडिया एस्टैब्लिश्ड कॉन्सुल जर्नल्स ऑफिस इन हनोए इन वियतनाम इन 1956 एंड वी हैव स्टूड बाय वियतनाम इन 1955 ना व्हेन वियतनाम वाज ऑलरेडी स्ट्रगलिंग विद इंडिपेंडेंस अगेंस्ट दी फ्रांस इंडिया हेल्प्ड वियतनाम एंड आल्सो व्हेन यूएस वाज ट्राइंग टू इंटरफेयर इन वियतनाम्स यू नो पॉलिटी देन आल्सो वी स्टूड अप for vietnam against us you know at the cost of our own relationship with us us ke sath jo hamara khud ka relation hai uske cost par humne us ko confront kiya aur kaha ki aapka vietnam ki polity mein interfere karna abhi theek nahi hai okay at that time also we did not care about india us relation because we had to help vietnam at that time because we shared the common you know indi independence history jo independence struggle ki history hai wo vietnam ke sath hum share karte hain all right and also pandit jawa Harlal Nehru he was the first visitor of Vietnam after its victory against French in 1954 1954 mein jab France ke against Vietnam ko victory mili thi jab khada hua tha Vietnam apne pairo par independence struggle mein khada hua tha tab Pandit Nehru pehle you know bhartiya prime minister the jo wahan par gaye the theek hai pehle visitor the ye samajh lijiye aap okay to ab now another important point over here is that in 2016 india vietnam they have been together in the comprehensive strategic partnership 2016 se hi hamare beech mein vietnam ke sath comprehensive strategic partnership chala aa raha hai and india is also granted the most favored nation tag to vietnam in 1975 this is important for prelims 1975 mein india ne vietnam ko most favored nation ka tag bhi diya tha ye point bhi aapko yaad rakhna hai seventh important point india's you know is a chairman in the international commission for supervision and control icsc and this particular body is you know established to facilitate peace progress in vietnam and in this body india is a chairman that shows how vietnam also you know treats india as its own trust body okay before we move forward here's a very important announcement for all of you as you all know that an academy is offering upsc csc ki coaching and they we are offering on an academy prelims means an optional together coaching of all these together plus the test series and answer writing sessions as well plus doubt clearing sessions also all of this in one combo pack agar aap ek combo ka subscription an academy pe lete ho to pre mains optional ki taiyari test series doubt clearing session answer writing session sab kuch hum de rahe hain an academy plus par at very very low prices jahan offline coaching centers mein you have to pay you know 2 lakhs 3 lakhs rupees here on an academy plus everything will be covered under just 50000 and on that too we are offering 10% discount if you use code arpita10 agar aap ये कोड यूज करते हो तो 10% का डिस्काउंट भी मिल रहा है प्लस वी आर ऑफरिंग ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ एजुकेटर्स 
इंडिया बेस्ट टॉप सिलेक्टेड एजुकेटर्स फॉर यू टू टेक योर क्लासेस फ्रॉम एंड आपके पास चॉइस होगा कि आप किस एजुकेटर से पढ़ना चाहते हो एंड राइट नाउ अन अकेडमी हैज लॉन्च दिस ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ का ऑफर वेर इन ऑल द प्राइसेज हैव बीन यू नो डिस्काउंटेड ट्वेंटी परसेंट का डिस्काउंट ऑलरेडी लगाकर प्राइस में आपको मिल रहा है प्लस टेन परसेंट का डिस्काउंट इफ यू यूज दिस कोड एंड टूडे इज द लास्ट डे ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जुलाई इज द लास्ट डे टू अवेल दिस ऑफर सो मेक श्योर दैट यू टेक योर कॉम्बो सब्सक्रिप्शन यहाँ पर आपको जीएस प्लस ऑप्शनल का सब्सक्रिप्शन मिल रहा है एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक आउट दीज ऑफर द लिंक इज गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन कॉल ऑन दिस नंबर फॉर फर्दर डिटेल एंड डोंट वरी अन अकेडमी इज ऑल्सो ऑफरिंग जीरो परसेंट ई एम आई लोन फॉर यूपीएससी सी एस ई विच विल बी अप्रूव इन टू आवर्स मिनिमल पेपर वर्क है फ्लेक्सीबल टाइम पीरियड है आपको पे ऑफ करने का और यहाँ पर भी ना आपको ट्वेंटी परसेंट का ऑफ मिल रहा है एंड कॉल ऑन दिस नंबर टू गेट फर्दर डिटेल्स इफ यू थिंक कोई फाइनेंशियल हर्डल है जो आपको सब्सक्रिप्शन देने से रोक रहा है तो आप इस ऑफर का भी यूज कर सकते हैं न्यू बैचेज ऑन अनडमी प्लस हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जुलाई ऑल द टॉप एजुकेटर्स वेदर इट्स हिंदी मीडियम बैच इंग्लिश मीडियम बैच और बाइलिंगल बैच दे आर हेयर फॉर यू ट्वेंटी जीएस बुक्स का सेट भी आपको मिलेगा ये मत सोचिएगा कि बुक्स नहीं मिलेंगी नोट्स प्रिपेयर बाय एजुकेटर्स विल बी गिवन टू यू बिग्स बुक्स विल बी गिवन टू यू यू नो प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विद सोल्यूशन विल बी गिवन टू यू आंसर राइटिंग सेशन होंगे आपके टेस्ट सीरीज होंगी फुल सिलेबस कवरेज होगा करंट अफेयर्स विल बी कवर्ड एवरीथिंग एंड दिस इज ऑल एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट राइट नाउ so it make sure that you take full advantage of this offer now another important agreement between india and vietnam has been in existence since 1997 that is the bilateral investment promotion protection to yahan par humne 7th tak point kar liye the ye aapka 8th flow chart hai jisme we know that india and vietnam together they have signed this agreement bilateral investment promotion and protection and since 1997 we have been a part we both nations have been a part of this agreement we know that india and vietnam are also members of mekong ganga cooperation ganga to aapki india mein hai mekong is in vietnam theek hai and ongc videsh ke bare mein you must have heard you must have if you are investing in shares or mutual funds you must have heard about ongc videsh also okay and it's an international subsidiary of indian government and it is operating in vietnam since 1988 this is one of the important pointers which shows how deep india and vietnam's relations are it is not just a current level relationship it has been embedded since the 80s since the 90s hum bahut purane you know sambandhi hai india aur vietnamese theek hai hum yahan par bahut saalon se ek dusre ke sath culturally socially economically politically connected hai and do you know that india is vietnam's 10th largest trading partner also अभी रिसेंटली 2014 वी लॉन्च द लुक ईस्ट पॉलिसी एंड वी अपग्रेडेड इट टू एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी हमने लुक ईस्ट पॉलिसी लॉन्च की थी जिसको हमने अपग्रेड किया एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी में सो इट्स आल्सो अ डिप्लोमेटिक इनिशिएटिव फ्रॉम इंडिया साइड टू प्रमोट द इकोनॉमिक रिलेशंस स्ट्रेटेजिक रिलेशंस एंड कल्चरल रिलेशंस बिटवीन इंडिया एंड वियतनाम तो इंडिया और वियतनाम के बीच में डिप्लोमेटिक इकोनॉमिक कल्चरल स्ट्रेटेजिक रिलेशंस को प्रमोट करने के लिए ये पॉलिसी तैयार की गई है एंड दिस पॉलिसी बेसिकली शोज द इंटेंसिव एंड कॉन्टिन्यूस इंगेजमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विद द south east asian countries this act east policy basically talks about the four c's first is capacity building second is connectivity capacity building how can you show capacity building through these agreements where we are training the vietnamese sailors yahan par aap dekhoge we are building their capacity we are enhancing their skills connectivity connectivity kaise yahan aap dekh rok dekhoge we have collaborated together in the field of digital media that shows connectivity कॉमर्स कॉमर्स कैसे पता चलेगा इंडिया इज वियतनाम टेंथ लार्जेस्ट ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर एंड ओ एनजीसी विदेश हैज बीन सेट अप इन वियतनाम इन 1988 एंड कल्चर तो ये फोर सीज जो है ये एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी के पिलर्स हैं दीज आर द पिलर्स ऑफ एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन ऑफ एक्ट ईस्ट पॉलिसी इज सिक्योरिटी दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर ऑल राइट अब इस पर्टिकुलर ना आर्टिकल को थोड़ा सा देख लेते हैं लेट्स लुक एट दिस आर्टिकल Let's have a clear understanding of this article also. I have marked some important points in these articles that please you have to go through. Okay, please take a cut out of this article and please attach it to your register because here they are talking about the driving forces between India and Vietnam's relationship. What are the key driving forces that are continuing this this relationship between India and Vietnam? First is first यहाँ पर है India's aspiration to counter an assertive China by strengthening Vietnam's military. 
military power now we are saying that we are training vietnamese navy and soldiers right in the we are providing them the combat training why so that we strengthen our hold also in the south china sea region vietnam jo hai wo south china sea se apni boundary share karta hai us region mein china is trying to you know dominate so to make sure that india's roots are also strong this is the first reason why india and you know vietnam's relationship is very important second reason is india's increasing trade with east and southeast asia india has now started to recognize the importance of the sea lines for trading purpose also okay now third important reason is india desires to intensify its presence to track potential developments in maritime domain see land area we can keep a track on the land area but it is very important to also monitor the oceanic regions the sea region because china is trying to you know follow its string of pearls theory and all of these you know uh, 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 engagements and domination that china is trying to project on pakistan sri lanka etc why it is trying to you know dominate the entire oceanic region and us is also against it so if we want to dom- you know basically become a stronger nation a stronger power we need to not just focus on the land area but also the oceanic regions and for that for strengthening our maritime domain this relationship with, with the southeast nations nations and you know countries is very important because they are sharing their boundary boundaries with very valuable oceanic regions like south china sea and fourth is that indian navy underlying importance of forward maritime presence and naval partnership that would be critical to you know deter the potential adversaries like china okay so to make our base stronger even in the sea region oceanic region we need to have stronger relationship with those nations which are sharing their boundaries or borders with those specific strategic seas okay so that is why this relationship is really important please go through this article yahan par na bataya hai ki kya kya framework india use karta hai vietnam ke sath apne relation strong banane ke liye theek hai to please go through this article i hope you enjoyed this article in 17 minutes we have you know covered the most important pointers between india and vietnam please make sure that you take down the notes and stick it in your registers